Hello, hello. Myself Mitesh Pradhan from Lab One Multisim. Today I had encountered with one problem when I want to uh, display the hexadecimal data and the string data in the same string indicator. So what I am trying to say here, I am going to explain. Suppose here I am writing, taking one string and I am writing something like Nitesh. Okay. so i can easily display the value in the form of string by this connection now my second question is how can we convert this number to the hexadecimal number so to convert the number into the hexadecimal number we need to take one more string indicator and after that right click and come into the property in the property select hexadecimal now your output will now you will get a hexadecimal output for same now you can see the output of nitesh will look like this it's a hexadecimal number right so here i am encounter you know, one problem when i want to uh, store this data i want to display this data in array okay or i want to display this data uh, one after the one in concatenate manner so he, i am facing some issue let's see if i am taking a build array function to create a array where i want to display the my string okay my string uh, value string entry and the hexadecimal entry both so here i am facing one issue so how can i solve it so for that first i need to create one local variable because i cannot read data directly from this object this object is a indicator type of object so for that i need to i need one local variable this local variable will give me the output okay it will give me the data whatever the data hexadecimal data it's reading if i will try to read the data now you can see okay now if you will think now we can connect the input value and the hexadecimal output value and we can easily create a indicator a string indicator and we can easily display both the name in the form of hexadecimal and string data so now it is not possible now you can see both the value are giving nitesh here so what is the solution so there is small beautiful solution which uh, i have seen uh, i had worked and that is we need a type cast we need a type cast function here so we can come to the numeric and here we can come to the data manipulations and there is type cast i am taking this type cast functions first come a take the type cast function then open the label after that uh, make a connection like this with the type cast function after type casting whatever the data i am getting i need to convert the data in the form of numbers okay so for that come here take a numeric take a numeric constant and place here and make a connection after that we need one more functions Uh, which will convert using uh, the function we can convert our numbers numeric output into the this uh, data uh, cast output into the string function so after that we need this number to the hexadecimal converter whatever the number it will give we need a hexadecimal converter and this function will convert my data into the hexadecimal as i always mention whatever the okay uh, if you need a more solution and you want to display uh, beautifully always so you need to do more work on the further programming now in this way i can easily display my name in the form of hexadecimal okay now you can see 4349 4349 7465 here till this amount i am getting so why i am not getting all the data It's because here because here we had selected it is the representation time is i32 we need to select i64 when you will select i64 so you will get the complete data and extra 4 bit also extra 
because the 64 is just two times of the 32 that's why we can easily see we can easily uh, watch okay read the uh, read this data in terms of uh, hexadecimal but because uh, on the 32 bit rest of the 32 bit okay rest of 32 bit uh, will take to read, uh, to display this data so here we need eight more plate uh, location now so that's why you will get four zero here and after that this value so for niti is p r a d h e n pradhan if i will write so now you can see it will not it will not give me the every data of my hexadecimal okay there is a limitations we have some limitations here okay u32 i 30, 64 we have the limitation for the hexadecimal so for that you need to break down each and every okay so suppose if i will take n okay n so it is for the n for e so here i can come and i can break down i8 the best version is i8 n because why i uh, why the i8 is best version there's only one answer the ascii characters okay the range of ascii characters is 0 to 255 and we know very well 2 to the power 8 is 255 256 that's why if you will uh, if you want to uh, read your number very beautifully so take individual number and convert that number into the hexadecimal before going to display anything so I think you found how can we uh, use a typecast and how can we display the hexadecimal number and our normal uh, string hexadecimal string and normal string okay side by side so thank you for watching this video if you like so subscribe